Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2015 with the Rude Man. And again on Nebraska. So, let's check out what we're going to do today. Uh, last episode we finished up the harvest and we sold everything. And we discovered that we need different tractors to uh, continue on with what we were doing. Um, those big trailers I bought, once they uh, get full, they're pretty heavy. And the uh, w the tractor <laughs> it just wouldn't do the job. So, let's take a look. I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to use the, the big, big, big tractors. This guy right here, this 380, uh, which is a pretty powerful tractor, wasn't powerful enough to handle these trailers. So I ended up having to do one of those guys. I kind of like those. I'm hoping that it's powerful enough. This one did just fine. But it, it's, look at that one's taller than this one. But this one looks beefier than that one. And it should. It's uh, a little bit more horsepower than the New Holland. But I like the New Holland. It doesn't have tracks on it. It's kind of suitable for the farm. And uh, drives nice. And we're just hoping that it does the job. But we'll need to get a harvest going before we know. Let's see. What else were we doing? We ended up with um, 2 million... 552 wow thousand dollars that's pretty good so um let's see we got this guy was seeding all right um yeah I, I i did a little bit of seeding after i finished the episode last um last time last episode and what i did this is field five and i'm going to do half of it in beets and half of it in taters so that half is taters this half is beet there's a little bit of strip in between to separate the two crops and that's what I was doing so I'll continue on with that and fertilizer let's see we were working on okay there's the fertilizer guy so I suppose, I don't know if we've got a course set up for, uh, for fertilizer for field five. I don't think so, because we've never seeded field five before. So I doubt if we do. And I don't, I don't know if it makes any difference on which part of the field we start. It's such a weird shaped field that I don't think it really matters. So, that being said, I suppose we can start down this corner. I can say I don't really think it matters. And I'm not quite ready to do that yet anyway. But, um, what else do I need to do? I'm kind of a little foggy this morning. Let's see. We've got... Uh, equipment, equipment, equipment. I'm planting sugar beets and uh, potatoes. That means I'm going to need some harvesters. So I'm going to need one of these guys, a Jiminy Cricket Maxtron. Um, this is for beets. <laughs> Combine for sugar beet folding cutter button M. All right, so let's buy one of those. I haven't used these yet. I'm hoping they work good. Um, the person that uh, suggested these to me said they that he's used them and they work really well. So, and then the um, Jiminy Cricket, Cricket Tektron. I always remember the Tektron T for taters. That means the one that isn't Tektron is for beets. So there you go. Um, so now I've got two of those. And the interesting question is. What do I have now? I know those green ones are multi-fruit, but I don't know if they're too high for the sugar beet harvester. So let's see. Hey cows, how you doing? 
We got to get some stuff in those mixers. Only thing we have in them is uh, silage, I believe. All right, let's run around till we find what we need. Isn't this fun? Okay, so this is the Jiminy Cricket Maxtron. This is for um, Trigger Beats. So let's um, let's take a quick look at this. What are those things on the back there? Oh, just reflectors. Uh, what are those that hang down like that? All right, so let's uh, let's see what this thing looks like when it's uh, unfolding. So uh, unfold. There's that. Comes out. That opens up. That thing goes up. That goes out. Pretty much looks like the uh, vanilla one, doesn't it? And then everything kind of sits back in motion. And that thing comes out. And then. Um, Let's see, folding cutter, M. So we hit M, that puts that out. And I guess that's it, you just, uh, well, I mean you would lower the, lower the thing before you could go. And then you turn the harvester on with the B button. Cool, that looks pretty cool. Now that's good and wide. Okay. Fold it back up, though. Put it in the travel position. Yeah, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Now, uh, I kind of like this. If you remember, I had something like this in 2013 that was completely unrealistic. The uh, header would come out and just, you push a button and it would just magically uh, stretch. Like it was made out of the stuff that Stretch Armstrong made out of. It didn't look realistic at all. But... It worked, and uh, I used it. So we still have a million five hundred. So let's see, what else can we do? I want to buy. I'm going to buy some lamps, street lamps for the farm. I need to get uh, maybe some uh, greenhouses. What else? I do need another combine. I want at least four combines for these big fields. And I'm going to need uh, another one or two tractors and trailers. Because if I have four combines, I'm going to probably need four, four trailers. Which means I need four tractors to pull the trailers. I wonder if 2015 is like 2013. 2013, you could only have so many hired uh, drivers. I think it was eight. It was all you could have. Eight or nine. That's all you could have. I don't know what 2015 has a limit on it. We'll find out on this map, though. Also, I've had a couple people, more than a couple people, that have asked me if I could do a video on the giant editor. And I had to admit that just asking me scared the snot out of me. And the reason I say that is I'm not necessarily a perfectionist, but I like doing things right. And you may not know that from watching my videos, but in real life, if I have a job to do, I want it done right. I want to do it the first time. Um, if, if I make a mistake, I probably won't make that mistake twice. Uh, I've always been kind of that way in my work life. And so, you know, it, I, I don't have a problem admitting that I'm wrong or admitting that I don't know something. But like anybody else, uh, I don't want everybody to know that I don't know everything. I don't, I don't want people saying, well, geez, that guy's a dummy. Uh, <laughs> so... I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm not very good at Giant Editor. I'm just learning. And I've um, I've fiddled around with it enough to get the things done that I wanted done. Now, that being said, I could do a video and show you what I did. Uh, now that I know how to do it, I'm not going to do a video that makes it, you know, like, I know all the ins and outs of Giant Editor. I have not a clue 
how everything works. All I did was, you know, I want that barn to be over there. And I, and I played with it until I learned how to do it. Um, I have a map that you can't sell eggs on. Okay, I'll find an egg uh, trigger, you know, sales trigger, and I'll put it in the game, which I did. It took me forever to figure out how to do it. Uh, same thing with the wool. There was no place to sell the wool. And so I had to go out and find, um, you know, a wool trigger, a sales wool trigger, tr uh, uh, trigger for selling wool. And what I did was I just went to uh, Bjornholm. I went to Bjornholm and I copied the trigger for selling eggs. And I brought it over and I popped it into the, Nevada, the Nebraska map. I did the same thing with wool. So, but it took me, you know, trial and error to learn how to do it. Um, I could actually probably do that. I could show you, uh, I could take the original map of Nebraska, you know, before I made any changes and do a video and showed you and show you how I, I put that in. I don't know if that's what you want me to do or not. Um, I, I guess if you hound me enough, I might go ahead and do it, but, but, uh, we'll see. I, I'm, I'm a little reluctant to do it because you know, there's one thing about me doing a video and putting it on uh, YouTube as a tutorial uh, that's limited to, you know, just my subscribers. I, I you know, When I put a YouTube video up there, anybody in the world can see it. And they're going to say, well, you're no, you don't know how to use that thing. And I said, well, I don't. You know, I, um, I fiddled with it to make it do what I needed to have done. And, you know, if that's what you want to know, I can probably do it, but I don't know. I, like I said, just asking me to do it kind of scared the snot out of me. I mean, I had to be hounded by several of you guys just to use the dang thing in the first place. But, anyway. Okay. Let's see. want to buy... Oops. Didn't mean to stop your work. Oh, I left the stupid. Oh, I left the patch undone there. Silly me. All right, in the long running, a matter. I was trying to do that. That's what I was trying to do. We need um, harvesters. Harvesters. We have three, and I want to do. Let's see. I'm gonna plant some corn too. You know, it's kind of funny. I, I'm debating whether to use... The, you know, this worked really well on Bjornholm. And the only problem is it only does one row of corn at a time. Uh, this one here, I always had trouble using this thing. But I have a mod. I have a mod. I have a dream. Um, is it under harvesters? Yeah. I've got this mod that does you know a, a lot a lot more at one pop and it's only 48 grand you know versus buying you know that other thing that's what is it it's almost it's almost more than a regular harvester this thing right here four hundred fifteen thousand dollars you know just to do uh a little bit of uh corn work now you can do a couple things with it. It just, it just makes uh, chaff is what it. That's all it does, is make chaff. Well, you know, for thirty-eight thousand, I can make chaff. I don't know. I don't know what to do. To be honest with you. <clears throat> so let me grab this uh, combine. And um, apologize, my throat's a little dry for some reason. And let's see. Let's do. That guy, that's the big guy, isn't it? Okay, so we now have four of those. All right, let's take a look at the farm. Um, doing some, oh, what's the weather going to be like? Today's sunny, a little bit cloudy tomorrow, and some rain on Thursday, or Tuesday. Let's see. There, growth. 
Okay, uh, I want to show the fruit types. I did some wheat. I've done some barley. I've done half uh, sugar beets and half potatoes there. And then I'll probably finish off um, by doing some corn. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm debating on whether to buy some more fields or not. I think I'll do this harvest before I buy any more fields. So I think I'll do corn on 6 and 18. I'm missing canola. But, uh, well, you know what? Maybe I'll do canola on 6 and 18. We'll do corn another time. We might just do, uh, the next time we we uh, harvest, we'll have enough money. Maybe we'll do corn on this uh, we'll buy this big field over here or this big field here and do do just corn on one field corn's kind of hard I mean, you have to change headers so if you're doing all of this and then all of a sudden wait we got to do corn you got to run back to the farm change the header paint into boohoo talks all right sounds like a plan let's go get our um oh god i gotta do grass again too <clears throat> All right, while we're here, let's set this up on a, uh, let's see, let's set corn on to the unit six. Seven. Um, let's put this in uh, group uh, nine. And then we'll jump out of this and put this one in group nine also okay and then let's grab this we're gonna put him in with the others in group two all right and let's hook it up here okay so um I tell you, I don't know why, but I'm just, my, I, I can't think today. I'm just, I've had a funny day. Something will get in my head and it'll go right back, you know, it'll go in one ear and right out the other. I just, I, my brain's leaking today. I'll get an idea or something that I need to do and then five minutes later, what was it I was going to do? I don't know what the heck's wrong. I know my I'm diabetic. I'm diabetic. And my blood sugars were off this morning, and um, that can be a result of a couple things. Um, diabetics are kind of I don't know. It's a weird disease. If you if you get the least little sick, it messes with your blood sugars, which makes you more sick. So I kind of woke up this morning not feeling very good. And I think it threw my blood sugars off, which made me feel a little more not very good. Uh, so it's kind of a battle. I I, uh, I don't know what's going on. But, I mean, I'm not sick, but I just felt, I just woke up not feeling well. And, you know, I know that's kind of personal, but you're going to hear it. You're hearing it in in my in my speech and, uh, and my scatterbrainedness. So I'm hoping it gets a little bit better. I took a little insulin and maybe it'll get a little better. But anyway, that, that kind of explains why I'm kind of scatterbrained this morning. But, um, oh, and there's something else. I'm a little bit excited. Um, we had, you know, I, you know, my wife knows I'm, I'm looking to buy a new computer. And, you know, um, it doesn't matter. She doesn't care. She wants she wants me to get what I need. Uh, so I've been. My schedule was to do it in June. Um, but circumstances have come about that um, I might just go ahead and order it now. So she told me go ahead and order it. I mean, it doesn't make any difference. There was really no reason to wait to June. I that just I kind of set a schedule. This is when I'm going to do it. And I was working towards doing that. Well, as it turns out, um, I'm going to have to jungle, juggle some money around after taxes and stuff. And um, I have to pay the state. I'm, I'm okay with the IRS, but the state of Oregon. State of Oregon is the highest taxed state 
in the nation. The only state um, that, that that's well, and it isn't more taxed. Hawaii, um, Oregon has uh, eleven percent income tax. Eleven percent. Hawaii does too. So we're tied with Hawaii on income tax. Those two states are the highest income tax states in the nation. Uh, now, not all states have an income tax, but uh, we do. We have an income tax. But when you add up all the other taxes that we have, gas taxes, pro we have high property taxes, gas taxes, uh, you add up all the taxes that we have, and we are the highest tax state in the nation. And so, you know, it's kind of tough. I ended up having to pay the state um, a little bit of money, and so I had to juggle some money around. And I figured, you know, heck, I, I've got some extra money, and maybe I will uh, buy my computer. So I'm kind of excited. I'm getting ready this afternoon to maybe go online and start uh, and start penciling what I want. And uh, I'll keep you posted. Let's get this guy going. We need more grass. I don't know if we do or not. Need more grass. And I'm debating. Let me know what you think. You guys, uh, especially you that played map, what do you think about this mess here? Uh, is there any reason to keep this uh, windmill, this water mill, windmill, and all these, I don't know, just jumble of trees? For one thing, there's every tree known to mankind planted there. Is there any reason that they're planted in that one location? Because I could sure use the grass. So what do you think? Should I take that out? I could actually move the windmill someplace because it's kind of cool. But why is it clear out here? Why would you want to want to run clear out in the field to get your water? Uh, it, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you have that closer to the farm? So I may move that to the farm and just take the trees out. Um, I may just do it anyway. Just, just because. All right, let me line this guy up. I, I just can't even drive today. Good thing I'm not doing Euro Truck today. Actually, I was going to, but I might not. I got other things to do. Okay, we're gonna mow field one and two, and uh, go, man. He's still not done. This this field is huge. I'll tell you what. Okay, so I wish I knew for sure whether that tractor is going to be powerful enough, that blue one. I know the red one is. I'm thinking the blue one is too. But I don't know whether to buy another one of those or to buy another one of the blue ones. I, I don't know. I kind of like the blue ones better because I like the wheels and not the tracks. So, I'm hoping it works. And then I don't know what do, what do I do with my truck now? What, what am I going to do with that? Do I really need it? Because if I sell the grain, I'm going to want to use those trailers because they hold so darn much. I make 20 trips with that thing and only one or two of this one and this one can't be pulled with a truck it's got to be pulled with a tractor so there you go I wonder if I can use the can you get up there no I guess not these, these trailers are pretty cool anyway so what do I do with my truck do I still need it I don't know I really don't know. And what does that tra what's the trailer good for? Let's see. That's a cramp. Is it cramp or crampy? Um, yeah. Okay. What trailer is that? That's. Um, let's look at the garage. I mean, it's almost too big to use around the farm. Okay, so. Oh, I've got one of those and one of those. So this must be this one. 
and it only it does it does quite a bit of stuff. Hmm. Then I might hang on to it. If I sell it, I don't get much out of it. And then let's see. Um, let's go back and look at animals. Did I buy? I meant to buy more cattle. And um, I did. I bought another hundred cattle. So let's buy some more cattle just for hoots and giggles. Now we're right down to a million dollars. <clears throat> Not anymore. This is fun. I know that there's, I think there's a mod that you can get that you can buy uh, several things. And if there's another way to do that and then just punching buttons, I don't know. I haven't figured one out yet. I haven't tried real hard though. Wow. Cows are expensive. There we go. 300. Boy, look what it took. Took all my money. All my money. Okay, so let's see. We need to figure out a way to get... Was oh, he done? He's done. Good job. I need to get a conveyor belt that does hay and grass uh, so I can start loading up a trailer with uh, hay and grass for the mixing stations. I need to get those mixing stations done. Okay, I said I was going to do canola, didn't I? Canola. No, that's Ricola. Ricola. Although they do it a little bit different today. Ricola. I can't do it. <clears throat> Especially not today. Just dry throat. Alright, go to town. See, this works a little better. Last time I, I uh, seated that way, up and down that way. This time I'm going to go up this way. See how that works for me. Okay, let's see here. We're going to do um, seed. We're going to generate the course. It's going to be field number five I hope that's okay starting corner is southeast and we're gonna be heading uh, no wait 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 yeah we're gonna be heading west generate that and we're gonna fertilize field five field five is alive with the sound of music. No, wait. Yeah, in the last episode I was talking to you about some people that have been playing this map and have kind of decided that the, the problems with the map make it maybe not so good to uh, play and they went on to other maps how many of you are playing this game and and uh, are, have had enough trouble that you really aren't having fun on it I'm still having fun because I've kind of fixed the prob the main problems that I had I mean, it still has some issues but I have some druthers um, I kind of wished that uh, when I started the map, I put it on hard because I think it's uh, it, it's it's not uh, 
it's too easy to have a couple of big fields and make two, three, two, three million dollars in one harvest. And so I kind of wished I'd put it on part. But I'm too far into it now. I mean, I've made all these, you know, corrections and stuff. Although I must say, if I start the, if I started the map over, it would still have the stuff I fixed in it. So, but I don't know if I want to start it over just for that reason. All kinds of things running through my mind. Well, you know what? Why am I? I shouldn't be doing this. Those those uh, those work rigs, rigs may need fertilizer and seed. I told you, I start doing something and it just gets away from me. Crazy, crazy. Hey, girls, wanna go for a ride? How about you? You? Nobody today? Oh, it's because it's not a John Deere, isn't it? Girls like John Deere's. I forgot. All right, um, let's see, we're mowing. I don't think anything's changed here. Um, we, uh, we've got to get rid of the liquid manure. It's piling up. Yeah, oh, we've got 17,000 uh, gallons of of uh, milk, 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 milk. All right, we need to get this guy. You guys are gonna hate this episode. I can't figure out what the hell to do. Can't get my mind straight. Now, I have, these are cool, but I wish that they, I wish that they pulled backwards so you could back them, that the working, I mean, you have to pull forward. You can't... I don't know. You can't set them in there without driving over the the, uh, the item, as far as I can tell. You should... The hitch should be back here so that you can back that thing into where you need to have it uh, function. And I don't know if I dropped it, can I push it in? <laughs> you know? Can you, can it be pushed in if I if I just drop it? Maybe I can do that. I mean, I love these conveyor belts, but the ones that work on a three-point hitch, at least you can run them right in there. Well, now what? I can't power it unless I've got it hooked up to the truck or a tractor. So now what? Oh, jeez. Oh, now what? I'd have to get a tractor up there. Oh, man. I have just messed up. Because now I can't hook up to it. Alright, now I can. Okay. Yeah, I, do, I love these uh, conveyor belts, but I don't know what I'm going to use them with. Because everything I have is in a heap like that. Let's see now. Is that the only one I've got? Um, I do. I think I have. I think I can. I think I can. I think I have. Uh, didn't I buy the three-point hitch one? Really? It's not a placeable front loader. There it is. Got one of those. All right, we'll buy one of those. Huh. 
Okay, let's get this little booger. This little booger went to market. This little... <coughs> Excuse me. All right, we got uh, we got a plan. Ow! Ow! I know I can make this one work. Yep, yep, yep. I'm disappointed now because that, uh, I really wanted those. I like those. They're fun. Watch me hit an electric line. Electrocute myself. Oh, man. I, somebody told me I can feed these. I know I put uh, grass in one trough. But I don't know what good does it do you. I mean, do these cattle grow? Can you sell them? Or do they produce milk? What... What do they do? And if I filled up all those troughs, what would that do for me? I don't know. Okay, let's set this thing in. All right. Go get a trailer. Where's that little trailer I had? Um, what did I do with that little trailer? It's on the other end of the shed. I thought I put it in here. No? What did I do with it? Well, it doesn't matter. I don't think it does grass, does it? Um, yeah, I don't think it did. Wherever it went, I don't think it did grass. I need to use the forage wagon. For sure, for sure, for sure. I know the forage wagon does grass and straw. Ram the fence. There we go. Uh oh. The big M500 has finished work. That's the, um, is that the, uh, Klingon bird of prey? Probably, huh? Okay, so he's done. If I get the straw out of that heap, I'll know whether I need some more. If I do, I can come get it off these fields. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can.
Oh, I'm going to have to look at those corn headers. I think one of them is for a case, but the other one's probably for a New Holland, which I don't have anymore. Oh, I'm going to have to look at that. Alright, now this one I might want to seed using coarse play because, well, I don't know in this weird shape field what to do. Let's see. Um, seeding. Field 18, was this before I put the headlands in? Um, good question. Good question. And if it is, where did I start? I thought I started down here. For sure I started down the bottom. This is going to be a lot easier since that, uh, that tree's gone and that tree over there's gone. I'm going to have to take a look at field 19 because it's got these terraces too. There's. Now why would it be down there? Um, or is that the stop? That's the stop. Where's the start? Oh, it's over there. Oh, you. Oh, I had the uh, something I forgot too. Uh, the next time I'm in Giant Editor, I'm gonna try to see where that. You know, on the main farm where that egg's just floating in the air. I want to see what that is and why it's there. And I may just leave it, I don't know. It's kind of funny, really. Now, I think this was set up after I changed the uh, headers on this field, the grass headers. So I think this is uh, good to go. I think, I think, I think. Yeah, yeah. It is. Okay, let's see how this guy did. Is he full? Are you full up? Let me through, let me through. He is, 100% full. Alright, let's go put some grass in the mixing stations. Yeah, I thought I fixed that, that poo pile, but I don't know if I did. Because it, I can't pick the poo up. And I know there's a trigger on it. I went in and looked, there's a trigger on it. You can't pick it up. Oh, come on, cow, get out of the way. Move it. Oh, do I have a horn? I do have one. Move! Oh, that's just gross. I can run right through him like he's a ghost. Sorry. Sorry. But you should have moved. Uh, why does it not look like anything's going in it? the control. Well, it looks like it's going in there. Okay, it's just feeding it in. It's feeding it in. All right, so uh, mixing station two. Um, silage, 100%. Hay, 100%. Now we just need straw. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And we have still had... Uh, nope, it's empty. Wow, took it all. <clears throat> but one truckload filled it up. Oh goodness, there's the bell. 
Yeah, you guys are probably thinking, oh my god. Thank god the day's over. Well, hopefully the next time I come on, I won't be so scatterbrained. Now, I'm pretty sure this conveyor belt also works with straw. Pretty sure, but we'll see once we get there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let this thing full, fill. I'm going to uh, go ahead and fill the other mixing station. When I come back, we'll get some straw in them and get some uh, feed mixed. By then, hopefully, the uh, seeding will be done and the fertilizer will be done and we'll get ready for the next harvest. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next episode.